Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I am here to finally reveal my finished mini lace fabric book. It was just so much fun to put together, and thank you to those of you who followed along while I did the pages. Um, and I will link those um, down here in the description box for you if you want to go see how I created this little, um, this pretty little lace fabric book. It was just, it's been a long time since I made one, and I forgot how much I love doing them so there could be some more <laughs> coming up here real soon because I have now all sorts of ideas and so making this I used the beautiful beautiful digital digital kit called divine moments by Ula La vintage treasures and I'll put a link of course below to uh, Doreen's Etsy store so that you can go check out her beautiful digital kits and then I used a bunch of laces and appliques, bows and blings from Angel Dream Crafts, Kim on Etsy. And I will, pour, of course, have a link to Kim's Etsy store below also um, so you can see the beautiful laces and embellishments that she currently has to work with. Two really wonderful companies and sweet ladies. And thank you both for letting me design for you. It has just been so much fun. So this is my mini little lace book um, finished. So what I ended up doing on the front is I used one of these really beautiful uh, heart appliques from Kim's shop. And then I put one of the hearts from Doreen's kit, uh, Divine Moments, um, on the back. So I took the digital here it is. I printed it out on fabric and then I put some fusible fleece on the back and then I sewed around them and then I cut it out with some pinking shears and I stickled it up a little bit and then I put it on top of the heart applique which is just gorgeous. And then um, in the back of that is some of the pink applique that I cut off of one of um, Kim's trims and then I kind of just threaded some of this um, pink bead spray um, you know I just kind of weaved that in and out of the heart applique on the back and then I just pinned on this beautiful um, heart I mean beautiful angel bling isn't it gorgeous and this is also a brooch so I pinned on this ceramic uh, pink rose which I just think is so so pretty and then I added some of the pink tool trim just coming out of it on the side. And then on the side, I pinned on this little tassel so it can be removed. I used a pretty little gold um, bulb pen. And it has sari silk. It has a white polka dot tool. And then it has this beautiful little charm with the bling and then the feathers in this blush color which is just so pretty and then on the back I just uh, cut up an applique from Kim's shop and then just arranged it on the back kept it very simple because I want it to be able to lay down but it's just so cute so I've tied it closed with some sari silk and just look at how yummy and fluffy this is oh I just love it so much all right so let's get inside so cute so here is the first page and this is a pocket page that I created um, on a video I showed you how I did my pockets and then I collaged a doily flower so it has doilies um, gathered lace and then a flower from Kim's shop and then I popped on the bow and then this is the beautiful little um, angel <laughs> from the digital kits divine moments and um, I just added some bling from Kim's shop and little rhinestones here and there and this adorable little bow charm I just think it's so cute and I sewed that on it's so cute and then I added this little flower and I snippety snipped some leaf uh, trim I had from Kim's shop to pop behind there. And I just think it's so sweet. You know, I didn't stickle, now I'm looking, and I didn't stickle the images, but I'm thinking I'm going to have to. <laughs> so I think I will stickle her headband and perhaps the bow on the front of her dress. It's just so, so cute. 
And then I added this, this strip here. This is also on a digital from the Divine Moments kit. And then I just sewed some tulle on top of it. And then this adorable trim sticking out right here is from Kim's shop. Along with all the tulle trim. Super cute. So this is the middle of my book. Isn't it cute? It's just so cute. So um, look at this. Look at these images. Let me pull them closer so you can see these angels from the Divine Moments kit. Just gorgeous. Loving that kit so much. And I, of course, surrounded it with a bunch of stuff from Angel Dream Crafts Kim. And I made a cute little sari bow. And then this little bow uh, dangle, rhinestone dangle bow, is from Kim's shop. And then I cut up some uh, pink bridal applique and added some single singular rhinestones that I got from Kim's shop. I popped on a white bulb pin and this adorable pearl and rhinestone bow charm from Kim's shop, of course. And then another one of these tool flowers here. And then another, um, I cut these flowers out of a lace from Kim's store and then added individual rhinestones from her shop. So, so cute. And then on the back page, uh, look at, this is the image I used from Divine Moments. So cute. <laughs> and then I popped on a big bow and I put actually more layers of dangles coming um, off of that image. And then I added one of my favorite little pink heart and rhinestone charms uh, from Kim's shop on a bulb pen right there. And then on this pocket page, I made this little flower and then I popped on this little angel or it could be a fairy little charm. Isn't it cute? So I haven't added anything into the pockets yet, but I will for the recipient. There will be little surprises in there, but I enjoyed working with this kit so much and with these laces. I mean, this thing is just beautiful and I am totally in love with it. <laughs> so I would like to uh, know what you think. Please uh, leave me a comment below and a thumbs up. And don't forget to check out Doreen's store and Kim's store for all these fun goodies. And um, I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye, everybody.